I think that as a musician or a beat maker, sound designer, music producer, that it can get really easy to get stuck in your ways and really repetitive on the way that we create. So I believe that it's really important to have different tools and different resources to utilize to be able to create the music that you wanna create. Or even just have different ways of creating so that it inspires you in a different way. And I've been looking for different ways to still make the music that I make, but you know, switch it up a little bit. And unfortunately, it seems that in the iOS music production community, it seems like some of the innovation for tech and tools for us to do that type of creation, it's really few and far in between. There's really not a lot going on in the tech world, especially for the iOS music producer. Not, not as of lately, at least not that I know about. But luckily this really dope company by the name of Artifon had reached out to me and they wanted me to try their newest instrument. And this is called the Orba. Now, once again, even though they sent this to me for free, I'm still going to give you my honest opinion about it. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. Um, first impressions on it. I ain't really like it like that. I've actually been following Artifon since they released their very first instrument and that was actually called the Instrument One. So I already knew that they weren't new to creating innovative instruments for music production. And the more I play with this and try to use this as a more serious music production tool, the more I can see this kind of fitting into my current workflow. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, my first thoughts was great. Another pocketable instrument that claims to be super mobile but does not cater to the mobile producer and it still depends on a desktop application to reach its full potential. Now while some of that is true, this is actually an impressive piece of tech. So I spent the last two and a half weeks just kicking around some ideas, playing around with it, passing it around, and uh, actually just trying to figure out how this can work with the iPad, the real mobile experience. So that's what we're going to be exploring today. Let's talk about it. All right, so let's talk about what the Orba actually is. It's created by Artifine. So like I said, it's a newer pocketable instrument with a very unique form factor. This doubles as a MIDI controller, but it also has its own built-in synthesizer. So one of the ways that you can use this with your iPad is with the built-in sounds. Oh, did I mention that it has a speaker built into it too? Yeah. And it also has a built-in 3.5 millimeter audio jack so that you can use your headphones. And I guess I should mention that when you're using the headphones, the sounds in the Orba actually do sound a lot better. So yeah, this is battery powered and it uses a USB type C port to charge as well as connect to your laptop or even your iPad as a MIDI controller. So one of my favorite things about the Orba, you guessed it, is Bluetooth MIDI. Bluetooth MIDI is definitely one of my favorite things. So if you're already familiar with the channel, you already know. So we can hook this up to our iPads or even our iPhones using the Bluetooth protocol. And this actually has its own app. So you can actually change the synthesizer sounds within the app from drums to bass to chord in the lead sounds. There are four modes. So you can toggle through those sounds. This middle button actually acts as a, a navigation key as well. You can see what's happening on screen real time. As well as being able to navigate through the different um, the get different keys. So not only can you change the built-in sounds, but you can change the key and the tempo in which this will internally record and play back and all that stuff. Again, we'll probably get into that in another video. What I do wish though, is that you could import your own sounds or even your own samples and, and play it through the speakers and yeah, but that's just not happening yet. So one of the most unique things about the Orba is the fact that it has a built-in gyroscope. I think that that's what it's called. It has a sensor on the inside that can kind of detect when you're moving it around. So, so real-time expression is really, really easy to execute with this instrument. All you have to do is press down. As a matter of fact, here's a quick clip of me using this inside of Beatmaker 3. Thank you. 
was fun using it inside of Beatmaker 3, I did find some limitations. But you and I both know, especially if you're no stranger to making music on the iPad, that limitations birth huge innovations. Some of the limitations though did involve the built-in gestures from the gyroscope here. Um, since this does send so many MIDI information out at one time, Beatmaker 3 and a lot of my other apps inside of uh, the iPad did have a tough time registering them all or even just registering one at a time. So Artifon allows you to access a lot of the gesture modes like the tilting, radius, and even the uh, shaking gesture from the Artifon app. But it's still only available to the desktop version of it. So a lot of the expression and the musicianship that I was looking forward to implementing back into the iPad setup uh, just it wasn't uh, accessible to me while I was on the go now plugging it into the laptop or the desktop experience um, You know I can have access to that, but this is still not true mobile ready However, this is especially fun using this as a traditional MIDI controller to trigger notes or MIDI information using apps like um, segments or Koala sampler or even Chompler 
But again, I would still love to see some of the more advanced controls and accessibility for gestures and um, MIDI input the way you can on a desktop. I would love to see that implemented into the mobile iOS app. So the Orba for me has definitely been a great idea maker. Given the fact that I can create beats on the go without even having to put out the iPad, iPhone, or even a laptop, I can use the built-in sounds to create my sound and either use that MIDI information or even the built-in sounds to build upon an idea or a starter idea that I can bring to life and flesh out later. Given this rugged and really durable design, I'm really a big fan of how they executed this uh, the engineering on this instrument. I thought that this would have been a rubbery, squishy uh, membrane all the way around, sort of like the Roly Block system or you know any type of pad-based MIDI controller, but it's not. It's actually that's plastic all the way around. There's really no click or any tactile uh, feedback except it does have a haptic feedback so sort of like how your phone vibrates every time you press down the, the number keys or you know you're texting and you feel your phone vibrate and it gives you some type of feedback this does the same exact thing it's actually pretty cool they do offer a rubber silicone case for it too with a nice stretchy lanyard oh so it is it is extremely mobile and durable in that sense uh, so i am a big fan a lot of the issues that i'm having could really be fixed with a firmware update the way i see it because it is so new this is really a hidden gem just waiting to be updated and upgraded <laughs> uh, and i feel like this is really innovative because it brings the tactile musicianship right back into your workflow anybody can drag and drop loops and click buttons and you know push beats in but instruments like this actually bring the musicianship back into your beat making it actually brings the body language it's, it's about how your sway is it's about your timing your body language your expression and how you actually interact with something physical and something tactile that you can actually tangibly use to make music there's only so much expression that you're going to be able to perform tapping a screen or using a mouse to click your stuff in this brings that back. This puts that right back in the palm of your hands and that's your fingertips, literally. So, <laughs> yeah. So this was my first look and my first thoughts about the Artifine Orba. I think I like it. And plus this fits in just about any bag that I carry with me. It's about the same size as a, the very bottom half of a water bottle. So <laughs> this is, this is no, no hassle to carry around. And it's lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap, so. So this was my first look and my first thoughts on the Artifine Orba. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about the workflow and give me some ideas on what you might want to see using this with the iPad, Beatmaker 3, Cubases, Zen Beats, whatever. Let's talk about it. And if you rock with this instrument, let me know in the comments and uh, hit that like button, share this. And, and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I post on this or anything else around here in the future. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. I'm Brandon Rico. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.